Young Mercy, a program established under the Mercy Malaysia banner by Sabrajaya University College of Medical Sciences, CUCMS. Young Mercy is an extension of Mercy Malaysia and it is compulsory for the second and third year students of CUCMS. This Young Mercy program that I first started off with is during my second year and I continued with the course till my third year. That was my last project. We, we basically, it's a combination of uh, pharmacy students and medical students project where we basically come up with two different groups. We have YM1 and YM2, which is uh, called Young Mercy 1 and Young Mercy 2. I was in Young Mercy 2 with a few of pharmacy students and a few of medical students where we got together with this uh, particular project of uh, health carnival in Shah Alam. In the process of coming up that activity, there was various uh, things that we got to, to do first, which is to get the place, to get the people in charge. I believe that Young Mercy, after I have undergone this Young Mercy program, I believe that I see everyone as one and not as two or three, in the sense that Everyone, regardless of re religion, race, and creed, they're all one. And I believe Young Mercy has somehow taught me this. So I've started with Young Mercy during my second year. So we plan mostly on the project, so how we want to fund the money. And then uh, we started on the health carnival, inshallah. Then in third year, we used the money for motivational camp at Pulau Panko. This one place. Um, and then there we actually like uh, create a few activities for example like um, play games or maybe we mo usually more to like motivate them to study yeah um, we just um, organize an, a project with um, awareness project uh, with orang asli we raise awareness um, towards them, like medical checkups, uh, like cleanliness, like how they want to react with puberty itself, and so many things else. This year, we want to form um, a society that we want to register with Kementerian Belia and Sukan. Um, we haven't got any approval yet, but we're waiting for it. And as a president, I think um, managing a people are most uh, important thing, actually. This is a new thing for us, actually, and I really delighted um, entering this university because we have this such kind of program where it um, gives us not just to be uh, knowledgeable uh, health uh, providers, but actually it trains us to be a whole holistic person, um, like in our college motto, nurturing the passion to care. So that's what we are going to be in the future, hopefully, by organizing this program. Yep. So basically, it all started when uh, we formed YM, Young Mercy, and we delegated the task to a group of our friends to handle this um, awareness program. So they contacted the Jabatan Orang Asli, and then from there on, everything uh, went on smoothly. And they had a health awareness thing among the kids and the adults, especially towards the older generation, where they did a lot of medical checkup, and then they taught the kids about um, cleanliness, how to wash your hair, to scrub your hands, to wear footwear, and also um, they taught the adolescents more about the puberty, how do you uh, react to it, what do you need to use, like uh, pads and things like that, and everything went on smoothly, and our Prof. Prof. Ikram, he went along with them and he, he gave uh, medications and advice to the older generation and things like that, yeah. They were really excited that uh, the outsiders were, you know, appreci I mean, appreciating them. Like, we brought a lot of goodie bags, we, lo we brought lots of clothes for them. They were really, really appreciative of what we did and, yeah, so I guess it really helped them la, to, towards understanding the things that we are trying to convey to them. Okay, for awareness, we are doing, uh, we having a blood donation program soon uh, we, in collaboration with the National Blood Bank. So uh, we'll be doing it soon in April uh, in our college. Yeah. Besides the awareness program, we actually have another program coming up at the end of this month, which is a fundraising program for the autistic kids. Yes, it, it's, uh, it'll be held in Grand Dorset, Subang. 
and um, yeah, we're trying to raise funds for the kids and for the organization and also for our society. Actually, uh, in this position, it helped me a lot with my managerial skills. Like, uh, I'm not really used to uh, managing people and things like that. So through this position, I, I gain a lot of experience on how do you manage people. Like, there's so many types, so many varieties of personalities in people. So we learn, both of us, learn how to cope with the stress and the emotions of uh, our group and try to bring the best out of everyone so that we can achieve the best in our project. <laughs>